Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over our advanced difficulty level this time of our solving systems of linear equations. Make sure to subscribe before we get into it and let's get started. So this first question, our basic premise is that we're going to solve our system using elimination most likely and then add our y and x coordinates together to find our answer. Because we have coefficients to most of these variables, I would solve using our um, elimination here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to isolate this x, but actually use elimination instead of substitution. Let's go ahead and get started. First step is to distribute uh, those terms there. It turns into 6y minus 12. Actually, we subtract the 3, so negative 12 minus 3 is actually negative 15. So that bottom equation simplified to 6y minus 15 equals x. Let's switch it around to follow the format of that top equation. Negative 15 plus 6y. Uh, it is the exact same thing. I can just move them around. Okay, let's write them on top of each other. And we can see clearly here that our y variables can just eliminate each other. We have our negative 6y and our positive 6y. So let's go ahead and combine. Those cancel out. 24 minus 15 is 9. And then 2x plus x is 3x. We're left with 9 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3. x equals 3. So we have our x value. We can just substitute back into the first equation to find our y value. So 2x just turns into 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, 24 minus 6y. We subtract 24 from each side. 6 minus 24 is uh, negative 18. So we're left with negative 18 equals negative 6y. We divide both sides by negative 6. Negative 18 divided by negative 6 is also 3. So y equals 3, x equals 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's our answer for this first question. On to our next one. Uh, we have some different variables here, y and z, but also a constant c. What well, y and z, and also the constant c. So what value of c does the systems of equations in the variables y and z have infinitely many solutions? So we discussed this in the prior video, infinitely many solutions. We need coefficients, constants to be the same. Everything should cancel out when we solve through to get 0 equals 0. So let's take a look at our coefficients here. So we have 4y. What I would do uh, here, first just combine like terms. Uh, that means distributing and moving over our y, so we only have one y variable to deal with. So let's first manipulate this top equation. I would add 13y to both sides. We're left with 2y, and now I would distribute. Equals 6z plus 6. Much more simple now, much easier to deal with. And let's do the exact same thing here, get it in the same format. So we're left with... Um, I would not distribute our C, because then we have a lot more constants to worry about. I would just move over our 24. So we have 4y equals cz minus 1 distributive plus 24. Okay, here it actually might be easier to distribute our C, because we don't want to fall into the trap of seeing O. Oh, uh, we need to multiply by 12 because actually we're going to have two constant terms. What we need to see here is this relationship. There are no other y terms that we need to worry about given this distributive here. So we need to spot O. We need to multiply this top equation by 2 to get it the same as this bottom equation. So I would do exactly that here. Uh, so multiply everything by 2. We are left with 4y equals 12 z plus 12. So now all we need to see the coefficient of z is 12. So we need to multiply uh, everything right here by 12, meaning our c value is 12. Because if c equals 12, then we are left with 12z minus 12. When, which when we add 24, negative 12 plus 24 is positive 12. So if c equals 12, then we are left with 4y equals 12z plus 12. So you can see that is our infinite solution scenario. 
coefficients are the same, constants are the same. So we could decode that C equals 12. That is our answer. On to our next question here, very similar. So for what value of W will the systems of equations have exactly one solution when X, with X equaling one? So uh, we need a spot here, one solution, our variables do not cancel out. So that's pretty much all we need to look here. Once again, these are in a little bit more difficult format, but we can just break it down into simpler forms. What I would do, multiply everything out, combine like terms. So get rid of our parentheses. Let's work with our second equa equation here. So we have a minus y equals the pseudo distributed property. First, two minus two y plus three x. Uh, let's have it in standard form. So I would move over this 2, 6, um, and I would add a y. Negative 2y plus y is negative y. So we are left with 6 equals negative y plus 3x. Pretty standard here. Yeah, equals negative y plus 3x. Perfect. And now... Let's uh, simplify that top equation. So we have wx plus 2y equals 3 plus 3y plus 1. First of all, on our right side, 3 plus 1 is 4, so we can just replace that with 4 plus 3y. Now we can go ahead and subtract our 2y to just reach y. Move the 4 over, move the wx over. So we have negative 4 equals negative wx plus y. All right, uh, now we need to take, we have simpler forms here. Let's stack them on top of each other. So um, 6 equals negative, negative y. Well, other way around. Okay, uh, 3x minus y. All right, since we are dealing with one solution, we don't want our variables to cancel out. So we know w is for sure uh, not uh, negative 3, because then we would have... Actually, well, we don't know that yet, but we can see here, this key piece of information, x equals 1. So we know that x has to equal 1, meaning that we can just substitute in 1 into both equations. If x has to equal 1, then we have 6 equals 3 minus y, and we just found our y value. Our y value is negative 3. So y equals negative 3. x equals 1, y equals negative 3. We can just substitute both of these values into our first equation to find what w needs to be equal to. So doing that, we have negative 4 equals negative w minus 3. We add 3 to each side. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And uh, we, negative 1 equals negative w. So w equals 1 as well. So what value of w? Will the systems of equations have exactly one solution with x equaling 1? Well, 1 for w. So this question, it was a little bit harder. We had to do a little bit more manipulation. And instead of dealing with no solutions or uh, infinite many solutions, we were dealing with one solution here. Make sure to follow exactly my steps uh, for similar type questions. And uh, this is, once again, a similar type question. We're dealing with infinitely many solutions here without constant. Of course, we're just going to follow the exact same steps as before. We're going to get... Uh, all of our equations simplified and then we're going to get them equal to each other to find the value of that constant so let's let's do that here get rid of our distributor property first step x equals one third y plus four thirds and now let's deal with this second equation here first step uh, i would isolate out well distribute out that three so 4x minus 3y equals 3a minus 3x minus 2x. Negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x. So let's replace that with negative 5x. And now let's move everything over to follow x on our left side. So we add 5x, we're left with 
9x, we move over the 3. So 9x equals 3y plus 3a. Yes. So, as we notice, our x and y's have to be the same, and so do our constant values. Let's take a look. To get our x and y's the same, I hope you, you, that you can notice, after doing all of this work, that our first equation, we need to multiply it by 9. Uh, 1x times 9 is 9x, 1 third times 9 is 3. So, we're going to multiply this whole top equation, every value, by 9. Let's write it below. So, x times 9 is 9x. 1 third y times 9 is 3y, and then uh, 9 times 4 over 3 is 12. I'll break down really quickly how I did that. 9 times 4 over 3. These cancel out using our cross, um, well, cross simplification. It turns into 3. This turns into 1. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, plus 12. Then I hope you, that you guys can see it's really easy. 3a equals 12, a has to equal 4 uh, in order to, 3 times 4, get it to 12, get everything the same value, and then we would um, solve through, get 0 equals 0, have our infinite solutions 100%. a equals 4, that is the answer for this one. These questions were a little bit more difficult, a little bit more solving that we had to do. I hope you guys understood. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in, in the comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more videos. Make sure to subscribe and goodbye.